from a puppy. I shape this behavior in this dog. I shape the deliver. And I like his feet a lot. I keep driving him forward though. If I tried to hold him back, it wouldn't work. Oh, look at he jumps up too. I just don't, if they don't grab it by the end, I kind of just stand there like that didn't work. I mean, depending on the dog, but. Driving him forward, driving him, driving him, driving him, driving him. Driving him, driving him, driving him, driving him. Driving him to up. <laughs> Fix the leg. They learn to get that leg. <laughs> and this leash is shorter than normal. This leash is not six feet long. He's convinced it's something to do with tamping his feet. So you're just starting out doing it like that. Oh. And they figure out, he, he saw his foot was on there. So I'm adding my pager on the turn. There's my turn. Driving, 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 driving. I'm kind of using my hand like this. Driving, 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 driving. Cutting the hand like this. So that he's, I'm kind of safeguarding that area. Uh-oh. <laughs> anyway, all right, let me go. I got one more to do here real quick before it starts raining, but you get the idea. So get the... Always start out with that knot in the end, and they'll always target that part. And they, if you said they can't tell, they can tell the end. And you can honestly just start like that. Without it being on the dog. I think that might be how I started this dog. Uh oh. It's just a delivered hand. It just. I can do it like this too. I don't know if I want to get my hold in motion. Driving, driving. Driving, driving. So that, yeah, I stepped on his foot by accident, but he'll stick it on the uh -oh. Does it ride my hand? All right, let me go. I got one more real quick before it starts raining. Be right back.